As many of you, I actually love the finale and I absolutely think that it was incredible and he left me speechless. There were so many moments from the episode that were just incredible. And we have some information from the creator, Steven Knight, that explained his thoughts on the finale. So here's some of the questions that he said and explained the ending. As we know, in the ending of Peaky Blinders, we can see how uh, Tommy is bur burns everything and he starts his new life, something that is going to be a focus in the movie if it if, if happens. Let's see if it does. But what I think is going to happen, of course, is that the movie is going to focus on Tommy's sons, Finn and Do. That's my belief, and I'm excited to see that. But here are some of the questions, and the creator, Stephen Knight, explained the ending. So the question was, so let me just start with this. Thank you for not killing Tommy. You cannot kill Tommy. It's good the fact that it's the last episode because people think he might actually die. Where to say there's another series, you know what I mean. So you do have that on your side. He then he then accepts. How does it feel to be here now, nine years later? Oh, fantastic! I just been looking, which I don't usually do. I just been looking at the reviews, and that's fantastic. I think they're the best date we ever had for Peaky, which is amazing. Not just the reviews again, which I don't normally do. I've been looking at what people are saying on the internet, and it's absolutely amazing. The fact that the critics and the fans, I think a lot of people, when it's the last series, they sort of fold their arms and say prove that you're not going to do what other series have done. So there is sort of an expectation, but I think it's past that with flying colors. You guys went through hell and back during the pandemic. It also lost a beloved cast member. How has the cast responded? It was such a roller coaster, the making of it because of Helen and because of the pandemic, it was really tough. It's very corny, but it's a bit of a family, including the crew. So everybody's really part of it. It is really emotional, but because of the film, I really want to keep everything as much as possible the same. Not sort of go, oh my god, we got to do something different here. Okay, talking about the movie and the seventh season, he said, you have previously said you wanted to do seventh season, so in terms of having shifted down to six and with the pandemic and all, how much of what is going to be in the movie will have been in season seven? The thing is that I, when I'm writing anything, but particularly Peaky, I tend not to have a plan except something very, very broad. So for the film, it's actually set in World War II, which I think I probably wouldn't have done for Series 7. I'd have probably taken it up to the war, but because it's a movie, then I think we need sort of a, a gear change. After Season 6 finale last night, it feels like there's still things to tie it up, notably Tommy's fight against fascism. That's why during the war, it becomes very permanent because the war's predictions have all come true. So the guys always mostly and others are going to figure it out in the film, Yes. Now, talking about the film, in terms of how this final TV season sets up the movie up, are we looking at Duke and some of these characters that have come in late in the game? Yeah, because in reality, the first war generation, by the time the second war is in terms of age, it was perceived in those days. And what I want to do is to have this generation come through. I'm really interested in Duke. I'm really interested in the in Isaiah, Isaiah. And just watching a new generation come through, but with the older generation still there. After a movie, are you thinking ahead of it at all? Yeah, I want to see what the movie tells us. I always the way in the writing of it. It's always the way in the writing of it. It gives them a start with a great beginning, middle, and end, which I don't, and just let it go. Somehow you find what's going to happen next. Certain people will come to the front, and I like the idea of wartime or post-war Britain, because it's a very different landscape, and I think it will be a great to it will be great to explore that. It brings a whole new look, and people dress differently and act differently, so it will be interesting. Uh, talking about the ending, he says, how do you find the ending, or the alternate versions you toss about? The ending is the one thing where you have to actually really, really, really concentrate rationally because there's no way out after that. There's no way of, of retrospectively taking it somewhere. It's gonna end, and that's why I think the ending is almost the most difficult. But finding a way to tie that up does take some rational through Whereas other parts of the script where you can just let it go, that's where you have to really be sensible. In my mind, there's other ways for it to go. I mean, I never thought that Tommy would die, but there are other ways for him to survive as well. So the summer some of the question and how the, the TV series set up the movie and him explaining his the ending. Uh, the final question is this. And yet you have said three years that you would like to redeem him. Yeah, or bring him back to life, which is the, the, the way the ending ends. The way I look to think of it is that he began the series at Dead Inside uh, and swore a lot of people after World War I, and then slowly he sort of thawed out. But it's a painful process because that the feeling returned is painful. So that's what I've been witnessing. That's why I wanted to end in on the 11th hour and peace at last. 
In other words, his first world war ended when he fired that shot and did not kill the doctor. I'm really excited to see how it's gonna play out in the film. And I'm just so excited and the ending was amazing. I also love the way it wraps the story and I cannot wait for more. But what are your thoughts? This is the ending explained from the creator of the series. Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.